Kelly Clarkson's chemistry becomes her fourth no, one on Billboard's top album sales chart. Kelly Clarkson achieves her fourth no, one on Billboard's top album sales chart with chemistry, her newest studio effort. According to Luminate, the set sold 43,000 copes in the United States in the week ending June 29th. Clarkson had previously topped the chart with Piece by Piece, All I Ever Wanted, and Thankful. Chemistry is her 10th top 10 charting title on top album sales. Young Thug earns his 6th top 10 set on the new top album sales chart with Business is Business, which debuts at No. 6. Billboard's top album sales chart ranks the top selling albums of the week based only on traditional album sales. The chart's history dates back to May 25, 1991, the first week Billboard began tabulating charts with electronically monitored piece count information from SoundScan, now Luminate. Pure album sales were the sole measurement utilized by the Billboard 200 albums chart through the list dated deck. 6, 2014, after which that chart switched to a methodology that blends album sales with track equivalent album units and streaming equivalent album units. The new July 8, 2023 dated chart will be posted in full on Billboard's website on July 5th, one day later than usual, owed to the Independence Day holiday in the US, on July 4th. For all chart news, follow at Billboard and at Billboard Charts on both Twitter and Instagram. Of Chemistry's 43,000 copies sold in its first week, physical sales comprise 25,500 and digital album sales comprise 17,500. The set also enters at No. 1 on the vinyl albums chart, and with 7,500 sold, Chemistry lands Clarkson her best week ever on vinyl. Chemistry sales were bolstered by its availability across multiple vinyl variants, including exclusive color editions for Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Clarkson's Web Store, Spotify, Target, Urban Outfitters and Walmart. Clarkson's CD sales were enhanced by multiple editions, including a signed version sold through her web store, an Amazon exclusive that contained a poster and a Target exclusive variant with an alternative cover. ATEZ's The World EP2, Outlaw Falls to No. 2 in its second week, with 32,000 sold after debuting atop the list a week ago. Stray Kid's former No. 1 5 star is a non-mover at No. 3 with 19,000 and ENHYPEN's Dark Blood is also stationary at No. 4 with 11,000. Taylor Swift's chart topping Midnight's is steady at No. 5 with nearly 11,000 sold. Young Thug's Business is Business is the second and final debut in the top 10, as it starts at No. 6 with 8,500 sold, with 97% of that figure from digital album sales. A small number of sales were generated by a CD edition of the album that was released late in the tracking week to a limited number of independent record stores. Business is the sixth top 10 charting set for the rapper. Swift has two more albums in the top 10, as her former No. 1 Second Folklore and Lover both climb. Two more chart-topping sets round out the top 10, as 17 17 10th mini-album, FML is a non-mover at No. 9 and twice as ready to be rise as 13 minus 10. In the week ending June 29th, there were 1.708 million albums sold in the US. Of that sum, physical albums comprised 1.363 million and digital albums comprised 346,000. In the week ending June 29th, 620 zero CD albums were sold and 735,000 vinyl records were sold. Year-to-date CD album sales are at 17.537 million, while year-to-date vinyl album sales are at 23.606 million. Overall year-to-date album sales reach 50.641 million. Year-to-date, physical album sales are up 13.3% to 41.407 million, while digital album sales are down 11.2% to 9.234 million.